Hey everybody, so today we have here in for repair MacBook, another M1 MacBook Air, I believe this one is, the A2337 Space Gray. Very, very nice machine. We always love getting M1s, man. We've been doing a lot of them recently, if you've been keeping up with the channel. Um, but we do have it in here for repair. And let's go ahead, see what the problem is and what we can do this time. I believe there's no power. That's the problem. Oh man, hear that? Sticky keyboard. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. You guys like the ASMR? <laughs> guys like the ASMR here? There we go. Very crunchy, not too great. Let's go ahead and check to see our voltages, see what we're getting. See what's going on. Alright, so plug it in. Okay, we did get a chime. No display. Getting 20 volts here. Oops, I went the opposite direction. <laughs> I went backwards, so it's harder to see. And the voltmeter reset. And we do know already this is going to be liquid spill, but it's always good to check. Well, let's just make sure what's going on. Uh, 20 volts still, 0 0.04. 0 0.04 amps. Flat here. Let's go ahead and take it out because we know it's liquid spill. We're going to have to open it anyway, and we'll go ahead and see what's going on because it's a little bit sticky. Not absolutely terrible, but pretty sticky. All right, let's open it up. And we can go ahead, unplug the battery, and see what we got. So we do see a little bit of a drip stain mark over in this area. See that? I think that's reflecting really well. That's at least an indicator that we could focus on this area. Even though it looks to be pretty clean, there's a little bit of liquid I see on the board here. But uh, I don't really see any corrosion on this side. And it's pretty obvious because if there's liquid damage on uh, the keyboard, the keyboard is what? It's on this side where it opens it up. So if there's liquid damage here on the keyboard itself, then there will be liquid damage on the other side of the board. So we most likely have to open this and see really what the problem is. But we, we did see it is getting on there. We want to check the USB-C ports to make sure there's no damage there. Um, I did already take a look at this connection because I'm always worried about the screen too. Uh, because we did see a little bit of a drip mark. Or we did see a little bit of liquid that might have gotten on here, which is the Wi-Fi antenna. Um, sometimes that can impact the screen. Uh, but at least it's at least a good protectant that it's at least there but it's not going to do a whole lot because it's going to drip around it anyway. So we do see that the connection looks fine. Uh, that's a, those are one things, especially if there's liquid spills and if they're in the, in the top area, we're always worried about to see if the, the camera, to see if the LCD actually didn't get impacted and a good way to do is to check this LCD connection out. So so let's go ahead, open up, uh, take the board out and see what's the problem. Okay, so pretty interesting. We have it out and we do see that there is this black spot actually right here. And it looks like it's a bit of a burn. So it's easy to spot, so we know if we flip over the board and we pull it out that we will see that there is a burn mark here. It's a little bit hard to see, so let's go ahead and go to the microscope. All right. So, ooh. 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 Look at that. Man. Melts to the ground. Even over here, got a little bit of, you see this little black, see that? And on this one, got a little bit of black on that side. What is this area? And it's burnt, so it definitely has a big problem. So I actually do have a picture of this board here. This is the A2002016. This is the M1 MacBook Air A2337 board. And if I actually scroll in a little bit more, we're going to see that this is actually the UP700. And this is on your backlight rail. You can see there's also a PB5 volt rail. You can see the switch LCD is also here as well. And this whole area has everything to do with um, either the LCD, the LCD backlight, and this one actually has to do with the camera. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up a schematic. I'm sure it's probably pretty much going to tell us the same thing, but we know everything we need to know about this component, um, the UP700, and we most likely need a replacement. But I do actually have it up here. All right, so let's go bring up our schematic again. Thank you so much. There's beautiful people out there who put these out there. We can see that this is a UP700, which is actual, the actual name for it is going to be the SLGAP 1443V. If we look that up, I'm sure that will be a way to find the actual part itself, and we'll be able to actually get that one and put that in there. But we do see this is on our PV5V S2 rail, as well as lots of other things that are connected to it. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see what else we have here. You see, a lot of things are connected to on the LCD panel itself, 
on uh, the backlight switch. This all has to do pretty much with the LCD. So we're very sure that this is going to be the problem. Honestly, because there's a burn there, we see that it's obvious damage, so this is what we need to replace. All right, so we want to make sure we remove all the components that are damaged in this area. The main bad one that's really burnt is the LP670, and we're going to be repairing that connection as well. Um, an interesting thing to note here, um, and it's very obvious you can actually see, is if you actually look at the LCD connection, and you also see that there are two lines going down here. These are the two trace lines that are going down towards this area. So if we didn't have a schematic or if we had a problem or if we weren't sure really what this area is, you can see that these two directly connect to this area. So they could be anything, maybe the LCD power switch, LCD backlight. Um, obviously, we have a problem with the backlight, so this is going to be the fix for it, and this is what the area is impacted. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we clean up this area. We're going to add a lot, a lot of uh, flux and we'll also a lot of solder to make sure that we can make this pad visible. The board being burnt isn't too much of a big deal. Um, it's just you know it's a piece of it's a it's just a piece of wood, right? So it's not a too big of a deal. We want to make sure that we do have connectivity. Um, and we want to make sure that pad is going to be fine so we can connect the component there. All we need is just a little bit enough. Um, we can see if we keep uh, scraping it and we keep digging our little hole, we're going to find that buried treasure. We're going to see that nice, beautiful shine that's going to come up when we do something like this. Um, that's the whole idea is really to get that so we can connect to the pad. Um, if you add a little bit of solder, if we, get a, if we see a little bit of, of an opening and we add a little bit of solder there, make sure we clean it up a little bit better, we're going to get a perfect uh, connection that's going to be at least good enough there. It's going to do it and we can actually see now we're getting um, now we can really see that pad there and we will definitely be able to make a beautiful connection for it so uh, everything looks to be pretty good now the up 700 um, for doing this we didn't really see a whole lot of damage to the actual up 700 itself you can see that the lp 670 was was the main thing that was damaged here uh, we're going to be just showing that in just a little bit um, we're obviously still just going to make sure that we we touch up the pads a little bit more so we make a perfect connection for it but the UP7, the UP700, if you actually look at it on the side there, there's no burn mark, there's no damage to it. It just looks to be very, very good. It looks very, very healthy. So we're going to go ahead and put that back. But uh, we did obviously um, make this in advance, and we're going to go ahead. We need to actually replace it because it still gives us an issue, even though we replaced the, the main burn components and anything impact in the area. But um, we actually had to get a donor, and it did take a little bit of time to get in, so it did delay a little bit on that. So... Um, the UP700 will be replaced. We're going to be showing that in just a little bit, but we're going to make sure that we're showing at least the LP670, which is the burnt, which is the burnt component, and we're also going to be showing the CP677, which is the one we're putting in right now. So that looks to be pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and clean it up, um, but now we're definitely going to have to go back and replace our UP700 because that is the main one that is giving problem. We were able to find it uh, via the, the schematic. We were actually able to find it itself, and we were able to order a replacement, and we did get the replacement in. So we're going to go ahead, remove it, and then we're going to go replace it with a brand new one that we were able to order. We're able to get in. We're very lucky that we actually had that schematic. If we didn't have it, then we wouldn't know the, the name of it specifically and it'll be harder to get that part because i couldn't find it by just looking at up 700 so we're going to replace it and then we'll go ahead and see how it's going to work out uh, but it looks to be pretty good we've we repaired the main problem area and i think it should just work totally fine so everything should be all good and dandy here so let's go ahead and plug it in see what we get um, i'm not plugging absolutely everything but just enough at least that we can see that there is an image or a backlight so let's go ahead and turn it on see what we got all right, I'm getting, you heard the chime there, I'm getting my 20 volts. Let's see. Nothing yet. Let's see if I can see, there's a back, there is still, the backlight's a little bit out. If you can see the Apple logo, I don't know if you can see, it's still there. Uh, it's hard to show, yeah, but right in the middle here, right there, that's the Apple logo. See the Apple logo, you can barely see it. Now it went away because it's on the actual user screen and there will be a name there it's kind of hard to see it but it's on the user login screen so we still have the problem of the backlight so what else could it, could it really be uh, we did replace what we're supposed to we saw the damaged area we saw the impact of the area we replaced all the components around the area so the only other thing i could really think of is maybe that there's damage to the screen itself um, that makes the most amount of sense uh, we already did check the lcd cable there wasn't a problem with the lcd cable itself and we still don't have a problem here for it so um, I'm interested to see if we actually do just try another screen to see if it's going to come on. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. I just want to get at least enough out so I can try it on an LCD. We don't have to connect much. I actually have an LCD here. I'll go get that. 
and I think we can just undo this and uh, I'll just be right back. Alright, I did get a screen here. I know that works. I'm going to have a little plastic mat over it to make sure we protect everything. Uh, this is fine. I could just do it this way and I could just plug in our USB-C ports. I took it out. Yes, okay. So this one you don't need to have a battery for them, so it should just turn on uh, if there's a problem with the battery. But we want to make sure we rule this out because if, if we are doing all this work, if we're going to deep dive a little bit deeper, we need to make sure that this won't actually be a problem. So let's go ahead and what I can do is I can connect it just like this. What I want to do is to see if I can get a backlight image or something like that, right? We have our nice covering over it, so it's going to be fine. All I need to do is plug in the USB-C. Hopefully this is going to go ahead and work. If we do, then that means we have a bad LCD on, the, on our clients. And we have to go that way. Let's see. Oh, look. So we do get a screen. And that came up right away. We got it again. So we are getting our backlight now. Um, we are getting our Apple logo, and you can see it is loading. Uh, that light's in the way. But this is a good way at least test it. Looks pretty cool, too. <laughs> we got to take a picture of this. This is pretty cool. But it is loading. Um, Let's see if it goes all the way to the OS. Make sure. I mean, our backlight looks to be fixed. Uh, we did a fix for it. I cannot show this, obviously, because our client's name is right there. Well, I'll just cover it up so it won't be a problem. But I definitely want to make sure to turn it off. I don't want to leave it on like this. But we see that our backlight has been repaired. We also have a bad screen. So you can see all of the work that you can put into a board level repair. And then you can also have other issues on top of that as well. We did everything we possibly could. And we wanted to make sure that we did and we were sure we did everything we possibly could by looking at schematics and uh, and uh, and replacing everything that we we're supposed to. We repaired the whole entire area around the UP700, and we did get our backlight to come on. We could not tell unless we had this other screen here, unless we had our tester screen here to make sure that it was coming on. If we didn't have that tool, we would be chasing our tail over and over again, and it wouldn't be fair to us and fair to the customer because we would still be working on something that's been fixed until we at least rule that out. But everything is fixed here. Unfortunately, there also needs to be a screen replacement. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Stay tuned. The, this is a great example of what repairs that we do on the channel here. We do lots of cool artsy, craftsy type of repairs that we just like to show you guys and just show, show off what type of work that we do here. I mean, we love what we do, and we always have fun doing it no matter what. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.